All right, so it's, it is exactly the right time to start. We'd like to be on time. So uh, we're going to start now. And if anybody else is coming in, it's, uh, it's not a big deal. This is being recorded. So you will have an opportunity after the webinar to go back and rewind and watch anything you want again and again. So no worries about that. Hello, my name is Matt. I am from Novaflex USA. And this... And I'm and I'm Martin Graal from Novoflex in Germany. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks guys, we appreciate it so much. This whole presentation won't take too much of your time. It's about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, it's a very organic presentation from us. Uh, we know the topic inside and out. We just wanna share these new products with you guys. Um, we have uh, something free for all of you attendees. I just want to share it with you so you can see it. Uh, if you stay to the end of the webinar, you're going to get a free ebook that we put together that is explaining 11 different tools uh, for macro photography, and we'd like to share that with you. Uh, just stick around to the end of the webinar, and we'll post that link for you. Uh, we really appreciate that. So thanks a lot. Um, all right. So first off, we want to get to know you guys just a little bit better. Uh, so um, be sure to use the chat. We'd love to know not only where you guys are from, but first I want to ask you guys a question with a poll. Um, do you use macro photography professionally? And you'll find the poll just appeared over in the sidebar there. We'd love to learn a little bit more about you guys. And we're going to leave that poll up for a little bit while we move forward. And then that's good. And also, um, during this entire presentation, uh, you're here with us for a reason so that you can get your questions answered. We'll do our very best to answer every question if possible. The only way we can know you have a question is if you leave it in the chat. So please post questions for us. We'd love to answer them. But we do have a lot of ground to cover, so we're going to jump right in. So first things first, I, I have never been more enthusiastic about macro than I am right now. And why is that? Well, with the new products that Novaflex is coming out with, I've found that with that level of precision, the frustrations that I had with macro have disappeared. I can achieve results that I wanted repeatedly that are just outstanding. So my enthusiasm went from here to here. I'm very, <laughs> <laughs> and and it's, it's because they're built to such exacting standards. So um, Martin, can can you tell us about the first products that we're gonna we're gonna talk about today? Sure, absolutely. Um, we're talking about the new Novaflex Auto Bellows, uh, which feature full data transmission between the camera and the lens. So um, it is almost as if your lens would be connected directly to your camera. So you can uh, control the aperture. You can use um, autofocus if if that's something you would like to use and uh, it's available for seven popular camera systems most of them are mirrorless and uh, that's that's a very cool product that's fantastic well we put a lot of effort into making a video about this new system uh martin not only wrote the script along with brenda and starred in this video so we put them <laughs> we put a lot of effort into making this so first thing we're gonna do is roll this five minute video for you and then we're going to come back and really talk about it in depth. So check it out. Novoflex Bellows systems are renowned for quality, construction, versatility and durability. Today we are introducing the latest addition to the Novoflex Bellows lineup. The new automatic macro bellows. These new automatic bellows are made for a variety of popular camera systems, including compact mirrorless systems. Easy to carry smart bellows transfers all data from lens to camera and camera to lens, giving all the information you would normally get with the lens attached directly to the camera. Novoflex automatic macro bellows are small enough to carry with you all the time. Measuring just 5.7 inches long and 3.5 inches wide, at its widest point, you can always have macro ability with you, even when you're on the go. 
Novoflex Automatic Macro Bellows features full data transmission between camera and lens through the contacts on the automatic mounting system. All you have to do is mount your camera to the camera mount side and add a camera lens to the other side. It works just like mounting a lens directly to your camera. Change your aperture and the system will automatically adjust. Auto stop down, auto exposure modes and all metadata is recorded. This full data transfer is made possible by the detachable automatic coupling. This can be detached and used as a reversing ring. Novoflex automatic macro bellows is better than extension tubes because it is completely variable. Extension tubes come in fixed lengths and multiple tubes must be used to get to longer extension lengths. Using multiple extension tubes introduces multiple connections and these connections have a certain amount of clearance that could cause movement of the tubes when you're using them. Because depth of field is limited in macro photography, we want to avoid movement that could affect image sharpness. And we all know what happens when couplings are used over and over. The bushing can wear, introducing even more potential movement into the shot. Novoflex automatic macro bellows provide a smooth, continuous movement through entire travel distance. German engineering and precisely made parts ensure your camera and lens mount securely and hold steady, even for long exposure and super shallow depths of field. Pulled all the way back, the extension is 76 mm. Fully extended, Novoflex automatic macro bellows give you a full 116 mm of extension. Some macro lenses do not allow the user to achieve one-to-one -one magnification. For instance, the Zeiss Milwus 100mm macro's maximum magnification is 1 to 2. At Novoflex automatic macro bellows, the magnification factors go well beyond 1 to 1. Use your existing macro lenses and get more creativity at higher magnification factors. Most standard kit lenses combined with the automatic bellows gets you shooting macro without having to purchase a dedicated macro lens. For example, using a Fuji 55-200 set at 55mm with the Novoflex Bell Fuchs automatic macro bellows set at maximum extension magnification is 4.5 to 1. To get even higher magnifications with some lenses, all you have to do is reverse the automatic mounting system and use it with the bellows. The automatic macro bellows is how we achieve magnification. Add Castell Mini 2 or any other Novoflex focusing rack for easy composition and focus. Novoflex automatic macro bellows lets you shoot macro in the studio or in the field. And it's future-proof and versatile for multiple camera bodies. Do you have a second camera? Or are you planning to buy another camera? Just add the appropriate auto mounting and reversing ring to your gear. No need to purchase a second bellows. And you can be sure that as new cameras are developed, Novoflex will be working hard to make popular cameras not yet released work with your bellows. Compact enough to carry all the time, precise German engineering and construction, durable and designed to last a lifetime, allowing full data transfer, that's Novoflex automatic macro bellows. The bellows system allows you to get close up and expand your vision into the world of small. All right, and we're back. That, folks, was a world premiere. You're the first to see the video. Yay! So, all right, I'm 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 even more excited about this now. Um, I have. If you guys are as excited as I am, um, there's there's a way to show your excitement. Um, in the comments section. Are, well, yeah, in the comments section, <laughs> let us know what you like or what you love. Right, especially ask questions because we'll be looking at those. We're going to go a little bit through a little bit more information now. But if you really are excited about these bellows and you'd like to be the first to know when they arrive in the USA, I just posted in the side. Uh, you can sign up for notifications there. And thank you for that. So, Martin, I have questions, yes. man. Please do. Ask them. What, what is the best way to overcome the shallow depth of field in macro photography? Well, the absolute best way would be focus stacking. 
Definitely. Uh, focus stacking is a technique uh, that, may, that involves taking uh, multiple images at different focal points. Um, mm -hmm. And of course, these images should overlap um, at a certain interval. And later in post, uh, you would uh, combine these individual images to uh, create an image with an amazing depth of field. Oh, that's great. And why would I choose bellows over extension tubes? Well, uh, the bellows is a variable extension tube. In other words, um, extension tubes have uh, like fixed extensions. Even though you, you can stack multiple extension tubes, a bellows is a far better way to achieve or to adding extension in between your camera and your lens. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Okay. Now, what camera models? We went through that pretty quick in the video, but what camera sure. model can you, you use with the smart bellows? With the smart bellows, um, the smart bellows are available for seven different camera models, which involve Canon EOS, um, the mirrorless system Canon EOS R. Then we have a bellows available for Fuji X mount. We have one for Nikon Z, um, MFT, um, which is cameras from both Olympus and Panasonic. We have um, a bellows available for the L mount, which involves cameras from Leica, uh, Panasonic, and Sigma. And of course, we uh, don't want to forget uh, the Sony E mount users out there. So there's uh, seven bellows in total. That's fantastic. Now, I, I caught something during the video. I own a Nikon Z. But yes. let's say I was going to upgrade to your favorite camera, the Leica, someday. <laughs> <laughs> Would I have to replace my bellows? Well, uh, if you want to upgrade to a Leica M, you would definitely have to replace your bellows because the Leica M is a completely manual camera. There's, oh. There are no uh, electronics involved uh, with the Leica M. But if you want to upgrade to a Leica SL, you could upgrade to the L-mount auto bellows. Okay. So I, I'll just switch out the rings and the bellows yes. stay the same? Yes, the bellows exactly. It stays the same. You just switch out the auto mounting and coupling rings, which uh, transfer the entire communication back and forth. So that's all you have to do. The bellows will stay the same. That's brilliant. I love it. I see in our questions here, uh, we have people asking about the Fuji GFS. Is that um, unfortunately right now we have no plans to um, add an auto bellows for the Fuji GFX, but hey, who knows? I mean, uh, you'll never know what the future will bring. So we'll very closely monitor um, all the lenses that Fuji will bring to the market. So maybe uh, next year we will also have an auto bellows for the Fuji GFX, but I don't want to make any promises now. Okay. So it sounds like if, if I use my lens like normal together with the smart bellows, the communications just like having the lens on the body. Is, is that accurate? That's accurate. That's accurate. And with most of these uh, mirrorless systems, you would uh, have to have the camera control the aperture in the lens because all of these lenses um, are lacking uh, their own aperture control ring. So there is no manual uh, way of controlling the aperture in the lens anymore. Right. They're electronically stopped down. That makes sense. Correct. OK. All right. So. Uh, James asks, uh, Nikon F and the... Well, Nikon F, um, I'm pretty sure we will um, update the auto bellows lineup uh, sometime next year or the year after to have an auto bellows for Nikon as well. But uh, this future bellows could only be used with uh, Nikon E-type lenses, which feature an electromagnetic aperture control. So that's that's very important to know. Right, and the F lenses have that, that little activator on the back that stops down the apertures, right? Correct, but these are not E-type lenses. These are the yeah. older models. Got so a, a, a future auto bellows for Nikon, for Nikon uh, would have to be used with the E-type lenses only. Okay. Is the D850 included in that? Like if somebody wanted to use a D850 with the auto bellows? Yeah, you, you, you can definitely use the D850, but it requires E-type lenses to be in order to be able to use this um, with aperture gotcha. control and everything. Gotcha. So they would just use, uh, they would mount their lenses directly on uh, the end of the bellows on. Exactly. Okay, great. Uh, I don't see any other, can you explain how a reversing lens works? Uh, here's one question. Can you explain how a reversing lens works 
and do some lenses reveal better results than others? Well, we can actually uh, do a very quick explanation. Um, reversing a kit lens is actually a pretty good way to achieving greater um, magnification factors. And uh, some, if not most of these kit lenses actually will have better image quality when you reverse them. That's uh, actually pretty cool. That's amazing. Uh, but, you, but, but you can try out yourself by just freelancing, uh, just, uh, turn around your lens and uh, uh, put it in front of your camera. Even though you have no bayonet mount available, you can just uh, turn on live view and you will see what happens. That sounds like fun. Oh, it is. Great. And, if, and if it does, you can then get the reversing ring adapter. Correct. All right. I have one more question. Yes. Uh, if the depth of field is so shallow, mm -hmm. what should I put under my camera when using the auto bellows? Under your camera, uh, I would definitely recommend putting a focusing rail, which is also known as a focusing rack in NovaFlex terminology. And we have many different focusing rails available. Um, I can show you one of these. Uh, this is uh, the brand new Castel Mini, which actually has the same length as the rail of the auto bellows. So it's a perfect fit for one of the auto bellows. Is that uh, manually controlled? Yes, that's manually controlled, as most of our focusing rails are, with the exception of our brand new electronically controlled uh, focusing rail Castel Micro, which I which I have here. It's a stepping motor controlled focusing rail, so that's uh, that's a pretty cool cool thing. That's amazing. That happens to be the next product that we're going to talk about. Yes, it is. Oh, good. So, so why, why don't you give us a, a lead up? No, in a nutshell, what is the Castel Micro? The Castel Micro is a stepping motor control focusing rail, which um, yeah lets you um, control the movement of the sliding block in a very fine and very precise increments. And in increments, if you if you're into stacking photography, you can control it in increments. You aren't able of doing with a manual focusing rail anymore. You can go as uh, as fine as 0.2 microns, which is pretty wow. fine. So wow. it's 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 um, fine enough to do focus stacking with lenses, uh, which will magnify your subject 50 times life size. That's amazing. Well, there's there's a lot to to talk about in this. Again, we made a video explaining what the product system is. It's not just one product. There's a product with many different possibilities. So this video is about seven minutes long. We're going to play it for you now. And please leave your comments and your questions in the chat during the video. Achieving adequate depths of field in product photography and macro photography has always been difficult. But today's new higher resolution digital sensors magnify this problem dramatically. Using f-stops that create a greater depth of field causes lens diffraction. Due to higher concentration of pixels in the same sensor sizes we used for film photography. The result is an image that may be in focus, but that may be lacking in overall sharpness. The answer to this problem is focus stacking. Focus stacking means taking multiple images of the same object at different focal points and assembling them using software so that the final image achieves focus throughout the image. Focus stacking requires very precise camera movement when capturing the various focal point photos. Novoflex Castel Micro gives you maximum flexibility and control to make capturing extensive focus stacking images quick and easy. Castel Micro can be used with all kinds of digital capture systems from micro for thirds to medium format, so you can use the tool that is best for the subject you're shooting. Stacking software like Helicon Focus or Photoshop requires multiple images shot at precise and repeatable increments so that the depths of field overlaps from image to image. Doing this manually is cumbersome and time-consuming, often resulting in missing shots that causes a failure of the software to assemble a sharp image. Novoflex Castle Micro solves the problem. 
Castle Micro is user programmable to meet various demands of macro and product photography. First, we must calculate the exact distance of movement needed by Castel Micro for each photo and how many shots are needed to complete the image. Remember to turn off autofocus on the lens and set your focus. First, set the start and end point for the shot series. Determine the frontmost point where the object is focused and set that on the controller using the start button. Next, set the farthest point of focus for the object and enter that into the controller using the end button. Finally, determine the distance in millimeters that the mounting block needs to move for each image capture. The user manual for Castel Micro provides a table from which you choose your lens and f-stop to determine this distance. Settings can be saved and used for similar objects using the same setup. The controller allows direct entry of either the number of images to capture or the step size required. When working in magnification factors greater than 1 to 1 in macro photography, manual fine-tuning focus becomes increasingly difficult. As magnification increases, depth of field decreases. When using macro lenses, turn autofocus off and set the lens to the nearest focus distance. Autofocus will not work properly for focus stacking in most cases. Now configure the controller based on your lens, f-stop and focus distance and Castel Micro takes over so that images are captured precisely, allowing focus stacking software to assemble multiple images producing a super sharp image with amazing depth of field. Novoflex Castel Micro is precise enough to work in magnification factors up to 50 times life size. To achieve these enormous magnification factors, we must often use microscope lenses, which have fixed magnification factors and longer working distances. The longer working distance allows you to light the subject properly. Novoflex Microtube allows infinity corrected microscope lenses to be used on cameras up to full frame 35mm sensor sizes. This combination allows us to utilize the Castel Micro for capturing extreme magnification images using focus stacking. The Schneider Apo Digital 90mm lens in combination with a bellow system can be used on micro for thirds to medium format cameras for maximum versatility. This lens has less distortion than many camera lenses. There are fewer elements and fewer lens surfaces to refract light. No helical mount means that lens elements do not move in relation to each other so that they are constantly positioned for maximum sharpness and resolution. Using a bellows attachment allows the lens to focus from infinity to macro. We're using the new Caspol Pro bellows. It's not attached to a focus rail, allowing us to connect the bellows directly to the rail on the Castel Micro. If we use a regular bellows, the maximum object depth we can capture is determined by the maximum travel distance of the sliding block on the Castel Micro, which is 100 mm. So the maximum object depth we can record is only 100 mm. But if we use the Caspol Pro bellows, 2 mm of bellows travel gives us 200 mm of object depth. That gives a maximum object depth of about 10 meters. You could literally focus stack a bus! This configuration also allows the distance from the lens to the subject to remain constant, while the camera moves in relation to the lens to accomplish different focus points. Moving the lens in relation to the subject can cause a multitude of problems. For instance, picking up reflections from lighting due to the movement of the lens. The working distance may be reduced so that shadows fall on the subject or perhaps the lens or lens shade even comes in contact with the subject. Castel Micro combined with Caspol Pro Bellows gives you options for focus stacking that others have not thought of yet. Only Novoflex gives you endless possibilities for object and product photography in addition to macro photography. Why not use camera built-in stacking? Only a few camera systems offer this feature only native lenses can be used, and out of those, only a few lenses can actually work. These systems do not give you control over the stacking process. Novoflex Castel Micro lets you control every aspect of stacking images and works with nearly every camera and lens combination. Because Castel Micro operates on battery power, use it in the field for delicate macro work, or use AC when available for uninterrupted shooting for those long shooting sessions in controlled settings. 
whether you're shooting products, documenting specimens, doing extreme magnification macro, or any other situation where you want focus stacking. Novoflex Castle Micro gives you the ultimate control over your final image. Okay, thank you so much for watching that. That also was a world premiere. <laughs> Yay! So Another after this, faster. yeah, after this, both of those videos will be available on our YouTube channel. Uh, so if you want to watch them and go back over them, uh, we'd appreciate that. So uh, if you are excited about that, we'd also like to know um, in the sidebar. I just posted the link. It's the same form. If you really want to know when these are in stock in the USA, please let us know with the form and you'll be the first to know when they arrive so you can have a chance to work with them. Now, Martin, I think it's time for us to take a deeper look at this incredibly versatile tool. Um, it, first off, it, I had done some focus stacking prior to this, but for those of you that that haven't done it before, do you think focus stacking is difficult to learn? Absolutely not. I mean, of course, it requires some basic knowledge of photography, but um, sometimes it just needs the perfect or the right tool to achieve uh, perfect results. Hmm. I agree. So we already went over the different kinds of racks that we have, right? Some of them are manual. This one's electronic, which Correct. allows you to have great precision, right? So does this offer, we saw it in the video, but does this offer a couple of different configurations? Yes, actually you can use it, uh, you can use it like this, just by just adding your camera on top of the uh, sliding block using your, your standard macro lens, the one you, once you already have, but you can also use it in combination with a, with a bellows attachment, as you can see here, right here in the background. And that's, uh, that's a very cool combination if you're into product photography because now you can use focus stacking or you can uh, lift the focus stacking technique out of the macro only niche and use it in product photography, which uh, is a really cool, really cool feature. And uh, then in addition, we also offer this cool thing here, which is an adapter tube to use uh, microscope lenses in macro photography. So if you want to get uh, a really high magnification factors, say five times life size, 10 times life size, 20, 40 or 50 times life size, we offer several microscope lenses from a company called Michitoyo. So there's many different cool features that are involved in Novoflex stacking technology. That's extraordinary. I, I, I really want to dip into all of those, but let's talk about the bellows for a second. So you're yes. saying you, you can take a practice that's normally reserved for macro of making, you know, like areas maybe this deep, you know, bigger, but now you can like mm -hmm. focus stack a car or like you said in the video, a bus. Yes, so we can focus stack a bus. Well, uh, the difference uh, compared to a standard bellows is that if I attach a camera and a lens combined with the standard bellows to um, the uh, Kessel micro focusing rails, the maximum object depth we can we can stack is uh, determined by the maximum travel width of this of the sliding block, which is 100 millimeter. But if we use uh, the special Caspel Pro bellows attachment, um, two millimeter of bellows travel gives us 200 millimeters of object depth. Now you can do the mass yourself. So it's it's a pretty cool feature. And what's also interesting is that the front standard, the one that um, connects to the lens will stay in, uh, um, uh, yeah, in a constant distance to, to, the, uh, to the subject. So it won't move. So there is no like uh, change in ref reflections or lighting necessary at all. Oh, that's brilliant. That's great. So instead of stopping down to say F22 or 16 to, to shoot a car, or let's mm -hmm. just use the car as an example, I can take multiple images. Multiple images that overlap each other. 
and use a focusing, uh, focus stacking software in post-production to combine these individual images. So it's not just rings and you know smaller objects anymore. Now we can make product photography of superior quality with this object. Wow. Exactly. That's what it is. Okay. And what's the advantage of using the infinity corrected Mitutoyo microscope lenses in macro photography? Well, I think the biggest advantage would be um, the greater working distance uh, compared to a standard macro lens. Uh, with greater working distance, I mean the, the distance between the front lens element and the subject. With most of these Mitutoyo lenses, it's still uh, like 30, 30 yeah. to 34 millimeters right. of object distance, right. which is just perfect to light the subject properly Gives yeah, enough space. A, yeah, it's always been a frustration of mine when doing macro work is that sometimes the lens just gets so darn close that you, you can't exactly. light it artfully. You have to light it with a sledgehammer and just pump a lot of light in there. <laughs> yeah. well, that, that's exciting. So let, let's let's back out to the macro again. Um, why is the motorized rail any better compared to a manual model? Well, uh, I think the best answer would be it's it's way more precise in um, the steps you can you can achieve you can do I, I mean uh, with a with a manual rail you're fine uh, for magnification factors up to like two times life size uh, but um, doing smaller steps that are required um, the higher the magnification gets um, the work with a manual focusing rail becomes really cumbersome and and time consuming of of course, because uh, getting to higher magnification factors requires uh, more images uh, for this for the entire stacking process, and that's not possible with the manual rail anymore. I remember when we were shooting the video, I believe one of those stacks you did had something up to 150 images. Exactly. That was uh, now. I, now I begin to see why it's important to have that, especially what if you had to shoot it again? What if the lighting was off? Then you have to go back in manually. No, I get it. The electronic rail is better. So this is a question I was going to ask anyway, but I just noticed that Les was asking it. What are the various names of the software that you use for stacking images? Well, the software we use the most is Helicon Focus, but there's also others out, out there. Um, another one would be Serene Stacker. So um, these are the two softwares we use here uh, in our company the most. And we can definitely recommend them. The, now, is Serene, S-E-R-E-N-E? -E, or is No, it it's written with a Z, actually, ah. Serene Stacker. I am posting that in the chat for everyone, so you can go Google it. Uh, can you use Photoshop to do stacking? That's a that's a, actually a very good question. I think Photoshop should should be capable, but I would have to check this. I, I've never done it with Photoshop because gotcha. Helicon Focus is just perfect. Gotcha. Well, but we, we, we will definitely check this and uh, find out and post our answer here later. I, I tried it once and I was disappointed. There is a feature in there. I, I tried it and maybe it was how I shot the stack, but um, that led me to getting Helicon Focus uh, because it just, it just seemed the results were a lot easier to get. Um, all right, I'm taking a look in here to see if, uh, Charles, can you hear us again? Just wanna make sure you can hear us. Charles said he lost the audio, sorry about that. Um, all right, here's some more questions. Uh, John asked, it looked like the bellows were on a Fuji 50S. Is that accurate? Um, our are you asking about this bellows here? It's actually a Nikon D810, not no, a Fuji. The auto bellows, yeah. The auto bellows in, in our video? Yeah. No, we, we were actually working with a Canon EOS R and a Nikon Z, C7 or C6, one of the two. OK. Um, I have the graphic that we had from that, and I'm going to bring it up. So we can show everybody. But in the meantime, um, I have another question. Uh, what other kinds of photography uses the stepping motor for focus stacking? Because this, this equipment seems pretty specialized 
and I think it might go beyond artful photography. Well, we uh, actually, I think we briefly touched the uh, thing of product photography already, but um, it could also be uh, used, of, of course, in museum for documenting specimens and very tiny subjects that you'll find in museum vaults. Hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I am going to share my screen real quick. And... Let's see. Here we go. So uh, the Auto Bellows does have a Fuji X mount. If that's what we were asking about, um, there is for the X mount. So anything that, that uses the Fuji X mount, uh, you should be able to mount on here. So, all right. And now, I'm going to stop sharing that. Okay. Now, uh, we do have a comment from Alan. Alan says that focus stacking works well for precise food photography. photography. Yeah. Thank you, Alan. I You're agree. Right. And we love your food photography. It's delicious, if you'll pardon the pun. Uh, OK, so John said uh, in the second video, uh, you know, John, uh, we'll be able to, to iron this out with you. If we don't be able to answer your question right now, then we'll reach out to you afterwards. Um, I don't remember us working with the Fuji GFX throughout the video shoot. No. Okay. We we didn't bring a GFX to the studio. No. Okay. John, no worries. Thank you. <laughs> worries are back there. We'll, we'll make sure that it gets. Uh, we have some other questions. Um, do we offer adapters to use the reversing uh, lens adapters with the Castell Micro? Well, actually, there's no special adapter necessary to combine a reversing ring and Castell Micro. I mean, the reversing ring is just like responsible for reversing the lens and mounting it to the camera. And um, but just if you want to add the uh, camera on top of the sliding block of the Castell Micro, it just requires a, a like a coupling blade, an ARCA compatible coupling blade. That's all that's necessary to combine Martin, both products. Martin, you have one of the reversing ring sets with you. Yes, right? yes, abs absolutely. Um, I, this is one of the reversing rings for Canon EOS R. Uh, they basically, well, they look similar, differing only in, in the particular mount. So that's what it is. So here is uh, the, the mount that goes into your camera, and here's the mount that attaches to your lens. And that's and the cable transmits the entire communication back and forth. So that's what it is. Do you need step rings to get the front of the lens mounted to the reversing adapter? Yes, you do. Um, the reversing ring it comes with a 58 millimeter filter thread by default. So if your lens has another filter thread diameter, uh, this would require some step rings. And there's step rings available. Um, all the way up to 82 millimeters and uh, down we go all the way down to, I think it's 37 millimeters. So, okay. And then, so you could take a camera with a reverse lens on it and put it on top of any focusing rail that you want to, whether it be exactly. manu manually exactly. controlled or electronically controlled. Exactly. Cool. What, what a flexible option. So you have to get from the front of the lens to the 58 millimeters then, right? That's correct, Brenda. OK, great. Uh, if anybody else wants to leave questions, that's great. Um, if you post any more questions uh, during, this, uh, during the webinar, we'll be sure to reach out to you. Um, but I think that now we've come to the, the end of our time with you. I just want to, to get a feel for it in the chat room. Um, how many of you are excited about these? Please leave us a note. Tell us what you're thinking about this. Um, tell us if you're, you're thinking it could be a solution for you or how you can imagine using them or how it will solve problems in your life. Uh, it would be really important for us to know these things because we worked really hard to bring them to market. Um, and again, I'm going to post this in the chat if you would like to know when they arrive, uh, please fill out this form and we will reach out to you first. 
and we're definitely going to follow up on all of the questions. Uh, Martin, would you have any closing thoughts for us? Well, um, thank you guys for, for watching us and being here with us today. And thanks for being interested in macro photography. It was, it was a great webinar. Don't you agree? I do, Martin. You're amazing. You're, you're a fountain of knowledge. <laughs> Uh, Thank you very much. And, and uh, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed learning from you and with you during this process. Um, I want to take a moment to, to thank you all for joining us. Please check out our website, which is NovaFlexUS.com. I posted that in the chat. Please follow us on YouTube. This will also be posted there. And we have lots of other videos there that are both about products and instructional. Um, and join us on Facebook. That link is also there. Um, and once again, please sign up to let us know if uh, you would be like to be the first to own these in the United States. Otherwise, uh, it is a good time to say thank you. Um, your time is important, and we thank, appreciate thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So have a wonderful day. See you in the next webinar. Take care.